Good day, Grade 8. This week, we are going to describe a mathematical system and illustrate the need for an axiomatic structure of a mathematical system in general and in geometry in particular to the following. Defined terms, undefined terms, postulates, and theorems. Nature has provided us with rich resources of shapes and sizes. Geometric shapes like triangle, square, circle, and others are found in buildings, roads, bridges, vehicles, plants, and animals around us. To appreciate the beauty of nature and discover patterns, we need basic knowledge and concepts of geometry. Ancient people had already begun to devise mathematical rules and techniques useful for surveying land areas, constructing buildings, and measuring containers. Beginning about the 6th century, the Greeks gathered and extended this practical knowledge and from it generalized the abstract subject now known as geometry. The word geometry is derived from two Greek words geo meaning earth and mitren meaning to measure. Thus, when taken literally, geometry involves measuring earthly objects. Now, let us have axiom, postulate, and theorem. Axiom and postulate is the same. In general, we use postulate in geometry and axiom in other areas of mathematics. Since we are in geometry, we will use postulate. When we say postulate, it is a statement that is accepted without proof. These statements are often expressed using the undefined terms and definitions. On the other hand, theorem, theorem is a statement accepted after it is proved deductively. These statements prove to be true using postulates, definitions, and other established theorems. Last, we have corollary. Corollary is a theorem that follows on from another theorem. Let's move to undefined terms. These are the building blocks of geometry. These terms are left undefined in the system. Instead of providing a definition, we resort to a description, illustration, or demonstration. The undefined terms are the following. We have point, line, and plane. The first undefined term is the point. When we say point, it has no dimension, meaning it has no length, no width, or height. Second, it can be represented by a dot. So here is an example of a point. And this is the same as your mole on your body. Next, it is denoted by a capital letter. So here, our point was named as point A. The second undefined term is the line. When we say line, it has length and it can be extended infinitely in both directions. So this is an illustration of a line. If we're going to observe, it has two arrowheads which indicates that we can extend this in both directions. We can name a line using two different points on it. So here, we have two distinct points on the line. We have point A and point B. So we name this line as line AB, or we denote as this. Another way of naming a line is using small letter. So for the second example, we have small letter M. So we name this line as line M. We can find lines on the road. The third undefined term is the plane. 
When we say plane, it is a flat surface that extends infinitely in all directions. So we name a plane using at least three points on it. So here, we name this plane as plane ABC. Another way of naming the plane is using a small letter. So we name this plane as plane N. An example of plane is a sheet of paper. From the undefined terms, we have now the defined terms. These are the terms defined from the undefined terms in the system. Our examples are line segment or segment, ray, angle, and angle bisector. Line segment. When we say line segment, it is a subset of a line that has two distinct endpoints. When we say subset of a line, it is part of a line. The two distinct endpoints are these. Since it has two distinct endpoints, it has fixed length. We name a line segment using its two endpoints. So we name this line segment as line segment XY or we denote as this. An example of line segment is when we connect the points or the stars to create a constellation. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 line segments. Second, we have ray. When you say ray, it is subset of a line that has one endpoint and extends infinitely in one direction. This is an illustration of a ray. It has one endpoint and it extends infinitely in this direction. We name this ray as ray BC or we denote as this. This is also an illustration of a ray, the ray of a sun. Third is angle. When we say angle, it is formed by two non-collinear rays with common endpoint. We have two non-collinear rays here. These are ray SR and ray ST. The two rays are the sides of the angle. And the end point is the vertex. So the vertex here is point S. We name this angle as angle R, S, T. Or we denote as this. We can see an angle in our clocks. Last, we have angle bisector. When we say angle bisector, it divides the angle into two congruent angles. Now we have angle bisector SU, meaning angle RST was divided into two congruent angles. We have angle RSU and angle UST. So angle bisector can be a ray. Now we can start our activity 1. For activity 1 entitled crossword puzzle, given the direction, give the terms related to geometry. Let's have first the across. We have number 2. Our clue here is a Greek word that means to measure. What do you think is the Greek word that means to measure. Very good. It is metren. Okay, now let's move to number one. Point, line, and plane are blank terms. What do you think is the answer? Okay, correct. We have undefined terms. And last, the clue is it has no dimension. What do you think is the answer? Very good. Point. So that's how easy Activity 1 crossword puzzle. For Activity 3, it's showtime. With a given direction, illustrate the different terms in geometry by drawing an example. This time, you will create your own example. 
of the following. We have point, line, ray, segment, plane, angle, and triangle. Don't forget also to name these terms. Now, you can start answering your activity 1 and activity 3. So that's for week 1 to 3. Points to remember activity 1 and activity 3. I hope you enjoyed watching and learning through this video. Wherever you are, stay safe and study well. For grade 8 team, we have the following. Reina S. Corpus, Ophelia V. Mapatak, Ruena V. Palaming, Paula Bianca P. Cruz, Manny C. Ancheta, and yours truly. For references, we have the following for printed and for online. Okay, see you next week again, grade 8.